Charge forward and take down location from the enemy. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Byron Lee. And welcome back to another World of Tanks Let's Play video. And we are playing a tier 7 battle. And we are doing, I think, we are doing a assault. Um, yeah. You've probably guessed what tank I'm in. T29. 7k away last night. Not as easy as I thought I was guessing. When I got this thing, I literally nearly cracked myself. And I mean quite literally. Loaded and ready. There's an SU-100 right there. We just dig them. He bounced off his gun. <coughs> <coughs> I'm really sorry guys. I have a bad cold. And I haven't felt too good either. Okay, so there's a sneaky lux right there. It's too quick. So there's an ice right there. Cough's horrible. Enemies got us in their sights. They hit oh. one of our tracks. Thank you. Ready to fire on target. We lost the track. Who's that buddy next to us? So we're going to return to garage, and we're going to see what the stats are on this when you first get it. So we're just going to go over here. Okay, so when you get this, if when you first get it you get 720 horsepower not great rate of fire 16 16 rounds a minute it's all right 177 millimeters of penetration that is one downside about this tank it has when you first get it the 76 gun it's not extremely good Damage is pretty poor. Speed, 20. It's alright. The turret armor. Whew. Um, 279 at the front. 127 at the side. And 101 at the back. So, nearly impenetrable. And 395 signal range. The aiming time is 2.25 seconds. And the accuracy is 0 0.40. It's all right, but when you get this pack, the 105, you may decrease in rounds, but the penetration, 245, and the max damage you could do is 420. Traverse speed then goes 25 degrees a second. Um, the turret armor increases. Um, and the traverse speed on the turret stays about the same. The view range um, is the same. And the signal range is a whopping nearly 800. So that's 700 nearly 750 meters. 
That's got to be worth it, though. This pack does cost a lot. I'm not really, I'm not sure about going to the T32. It's not. <coughs> it's not a very good tank. It's just, I prefer the, all together. <coughs> the T29 has the best, but this has good armor when you get that pack. But then when you go onto the M103, things start to change a bit. So just pause and look at that. A turret armor is appalling. A tier like four could penetrate that easily. But then you get the T25. Not the best at hit points, but a good tank. So in my last video, which still hasn't uploaded, will be when, it will be when you're watching this one. Um, I, Thomas, um, Thomas Howard and Carl Thurston started playing last night and we started going down this line yes yes mm, I don't they wanted the KV-1S but all together the KV-1 is so much better the only good the KV-1's got KV-1S has got more speed and more view range and it doesn't make a difference really it's a pretty bad tank, but then it does go on to the KV-85, which is a good tank. <coughs> but, tell me in the comments below what tank you should think I should go down. Um, yeah, because we're a bit perfuffled at the moment, because we all want to go down the same, but I think they're going down that line anyway. So destroy that like button, subscribe for more daily content on Mulder Tanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll out!